All right, if we're gonna to want to catch our cookie thief, we're going to have to use our Raspberry Pi and take a picture of our cookie thief. We're gonna take a picture and then we can submit it to the police, right? Well, if we're gonna to want to take a picture, we're gonna need a camera and we're gonna to have to get a camera set up on our Raspberry Pi. So what I have here is a Raspberry Pi model 1B+. Uh, this video will work for any type of Raspberry Pi as long as it has this camera port here on the Pi. And you can see this is the camera port with the tab and the traces along here. I have a Wi-Fi dongle connected to my Pi because I like to work on my Pi headlessly. If you have a monitor, mouse, and keyboard, you'll be able to follow along with all the videos in this tutorial. <clears throat> You're also gonna need the camera. And what I have here is the infrared official Raspberry Pi camera. And if you take a close look at the camera, what you'll see on the back of the ribbon cable here is one side has a piece of blue plastic and the other has some traces on it. Well, let's zoom in on our Pi. And what you'll see is that on the Pi, you have on the camera port, you have traces on one side and nothing really on the other. So. As you can imagine, the traces on the cable line up with the traces on the Pi. We have this tab here that you can lift up and you can pull it by the edges here and lift it up. And if you do that, it will open up. You can take your, take your camera and line up the traces with the traces on your board. Just slide that straight in. It doesn't go all the way down. When it's in, you press down on the tab and it should go flush with the board and then you have your camera installed. So there we go, we pull on the cable and we can see that it's not going anywhere. Excellent. So now I'm going to connect power to my Pi and log into it through SSH after it finishes booting up. All right, we can find our Pi on our network uh, by typing in into our terminal, which I have set up here on the screen, by typing in ping, if you're on a if you're on a Mac, ping and I call my Pi PlayPi. So ping playpi dot local and we see that it's on 192.168.178. So I'm gonna connect to my Pi. All of this has been covered in earlier videos that you can find on YouTube that I've created. I'm going to log in. And what we're gonna to need to do is uh, type in sudo raspi-config and if we do that we want to go to enable camera and this will enable the Pi to work with the Raspberry Pi brand camera so if we go there you're going to want to enable it and then you're going to want to finish and then you will have to reboot your Raspberry Pi and wait for it to start up again and then we can test whether or not our Raspberry Pi is working so on your Pi, if you have connected through your HDMI cable, just open up Terminal, and let's create a directory. And this directory is going to be called, let, let's create, let's navigate to our desktop. And on the desktop, let's create a directory called cookie, because this is our project to catch our cookie thief. If we navigate to that, we can then type in a command that is rasp i still, and we can specify some options. And the option that we're gonna specify here is our output, so dash O, and type in a name. Let's give our image something creative like image.jpg. And if we type that in, what you'll see on your Pi is that this red light will come on. And that red light there is your LED dummy light that indicates that something is happening. And if we take a look at what's inside of a Raspberry Pi, sure enough, we have our image here that we can view. Um, Raspi still has a few different features. Uh, if you type in help, you, you can check out like what all the different parameters are for this command. Uh, but I'm, that's beyond the scope of what I want to do here. Uh, another command you can use is Raspi vid. So Raspi vid. And again, you specify an output, and this is for your movie. 
uh, if you want to take a video. So we're going to create a video uh, called movie and specify it as a .h264 and this is what the Raspberry Pi saves movies as. And we can specify how long we want to film and in this case let's go for 5000 or 5000 milliseconds which is equal to 5 seconds and if we do that we see the dummy light comes on on our Pi again. We can wave our hand in front of it and it is done taking a uh, movie. Now, just to confirm, if we set up our VNC server here so that we can actually see uh, what's on the Pi and we let that load up, we can navigate to our cookie directory and if we load up our image, we can see, yes indeed, it took a picture of my ceiling because the camera is pointed straight up with my light that I have shining right now. So proof of concept, yes, we can take a picture with the Pi after setting up the camera. Uh, camera. In the next video, I'll show you how to do picture taking, but in a Python script. See you then.